Hello there, welcome back to our series on building parsers using Nearly JS. Um, so at this point, we have a math arithmetic calculator implemented, which is able to calculate uh, some uh, some simple calculations. Uh, it can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. So, <clears throat> so for example, if we run this parse.js uh, and feed this input to the parser, um, it will do the math and give you the result. So this should have done <clears throat> three divided by two first because that has higher precedence than uh, because the division has higher precedence than addition. So three divided by two is 1.5. Add that to one should give you 2.5. <clears throat> and that was precisely the result um, and I'm gonna draw you the parse tree right now so uh, so given a string 1 plus 3 divided by 2 <coughs> um, if you look at our grammar um, which looks like this uh, these these blocks are for um, doing the calculation here. I'm going to collapse them down so that we can see the full grammar. Uh, okay, there we go. So these are all the rules of the grammar. We got the input, the additive, multiplicative, numbers, and digits. So basically, the way that this grammar has its production rules set up is that the top level thing Let's do it in reverse from the bottom, okay? So we start out as an input. I'm trying to imagine what the parser is doing. So we start out as an input. What is a, I mean, what is an input? It's an additive. And then what is an additive? Well, we it's a multiplicative and then plus or minus an additive. We do see a plus or minus here. So it uses this rule to say, well, a multiplicative that does work, a multiplicative can just be a single number. Multiplicative and then a plus sign and then another additive. So that is this rule here we used to say an additive is a multiplicative, a plus or minus sign, in this case plus, and then another additive. The additive can be used to match the rest of this thing and what's an additive? because an additive can just be a multiplicative because three divided by two, we know and we'll see it's a multiplicative. And and then now we go down to what's a multiplicative? It can be a number and then multiply or divide and then uh, another multiplicative. So this guy is a number and then a divide and then another multiplicative. Multiplicative. So these three things go in here, and then a multiplicative can just be a simple, simple number, which two is, and then two is a single digit. So this is just a digit, and so forth. So this is how this whole thing is parsed now. Now in this episode, what we're gonna work on <clears throat> is to uh, add the parentheses syntax to the mix so that uh, this language is able to support parentheses. So how does that uh, how does that work? Well, if we add a parenthesis here, this should switch it up, switch up the order so that it, it should actually uh, first do the addition and then do the division. So the end result should be four divided by two should be two. Um, how do we do that? Well, what we're gonna say is the the thing at the very low level of the rung. So at the top level is additive, additive, and then multiplicative, and then we go down to the number. We allow that to be either a number or an, another more complicated thing within a parenthesis, which will allow us to uh, force this. Um, division 
to have a uh, lower precedence. Basically, it will have lower precedence than the stuff inside of the parentheses. So, so let's say if you have one plus three divided by two. So this the plan is again we're gonna start with input, uh, which first goes to additive. Um, but this time, uh, the, the, the additive is going to try to go to multiplicative and then find a plus and minus sign, but that's not going to work uh, because of this parenthesis here. So instead, it's going to first go multiplicative. And then we're going to say it's, an, we're going to replace this with an unary, which can either be so unary can either be a number or something that has parentheses in it. That's the plan. So we'll say, oh, okay, this multiplicative, it's going to be an unary, and then the division, and then another multiplicative here. I'll just write multi here, and then multi can be another unary. But this one is a number now. Oh, handwriting is horrible. But an unary can have another additive inside of the parenthesis. So the unary will take the parenthesis and have an additive inside of it, which can allow this one plus three thing. And there's a few more steps that go into it, but that's the idea. Uh, let's see that in action. Okay, so so that's the goal, um, and the way we'll do it is say we'll add a thing called unary expression. Let me expand these now. We'll add a thing that's called unary expression, and change in the multiplicative clause. And instead of uh, going to number on the left hand side, we'll go to unary expression on the le left hand side. And then an unary expression can be a, either a number or parenthesis and then an additive. So it, we start back from the top of this derivation here and we'll, we'll do some transformation here. Um, this we're just going to take whatever is returned by this additive which is at index 2 because this is 0, 1, and 2. Okay. And let's let's test that here. We'll do one plus one times three plus two. Oh, okay. Okay. So let he wrote the code like this. All right. Let's um, gen parser. Uh oh. NPM run gen parser. Okay, now let's do, run the parse. And we get 4, 1 plus 1 is 2, times 2 is 4. Let's do the original one, where it's like 1 plus 3 divided by... That was my favorite division symbol, divided by 2. So now that should get us 2. And yeah, that's 2. So... That's it. That's how you get parentheses going. Um, yeah, that's why I wanted to cover. Uh, uh, in the next episode, I'll cover how to do functions, uh, function call expressions within this arithmetic syntax. And I will see you then for that one.